So very excited today. We are at the Texas Audio Roundup. Roundup. Roundup with Emotiva and shit audio. I'll actually say it this time. Right here we have Dan, the yeah, owner, I'm founder, the owner. designer, purveyor. You do Cheap the bottle washer, I do it yeah, all. Yeah. I do it all. So Dan, what do you have here that you are releasing at the show? What? The, the list is endless. You yes, know that, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he gave me a tour last night and it's very exciting stuff. Yeah. Emotiva ain't shit. That's our motto for the show. Yeah. I want to get that one in for your, your viewers. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about what's new. Exciting stuff. We have a brand new line of excess subwoofers. Yeah. Eight inch to 15 inch, four models. We've got a new outdoor speaker, my personal pet project. It's a really bulletproof commercial duty outdoor speaker. And it's part of our Volta series, six and a half two way. It's a beast. And I'm, Dan's letting me take all of this home with me in the car. So I'm going to have reviews on <laughs> all of this go. pretty soon. I'm renting a, a rider van so, to get it back. We've got a new uh, elevation speaker. The A2, which is oriented, you can put up on the ceiling, you can put it, I mean, hanging on the ceiling, you can put it in the walls, you can have it as a side or wide surrounds, left and right is completely reversible. The AMT is rotatable, that's new. Wow. Our new giant center channel, the C3 Plus, yep. <laughs> which is driving everybody crazy. Four sixes, two five and a quarters, and a new high output AMT. Matching tower, the T3 Plus. T3 Plus. Three eighths. Two five and a quarters and an AMT. Also, one of my favorite speakers of all time is the B1 Plus. Well, guess what they have now? They have a B2. We are naming geniuses. So. Yes. I mean, yeah. B1, we went to B2. You didn't see that coming, did you? I did not. I had right. no Good. idea what yeah, it was going to be. So. Well, at least it's not like debut B6.25 second gen yeah, 2.0. Yeah. We, yeah, we do a little bit of that too, but yeah. not this one. The new integrated, the PT2 yeah. and the TA2. Which has on the back variable high pass and low pass filtering. Full base management. And I'm going to show you a picture of this transformer because it's about the size of Optimus Prime. Yeah, it's great. 125 into 8, 200 into 4. It's got an enhanced DAC using my favorite 80-1955 because I love the DAC. Yeah. That's a great sounding DAC. Uh, in, uh, enhanced phono section with moving coil, moving magnet capability. Of course, USB, Bluetooth, and a discrete toy power transformer. Yeah, it's just what's that going to reach out for? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Okay, cool. And it's a beast. And then the matching preamp is uh, got the same front end as the uh, the TA two, but it's got you know just the RCA outs, and I believe it is four ninety nine, which will go perfect with two A one monoblock basics or the A two. Yeah, it's killer. Yeah. We've got that demo going right now. We've got A ones. The PT2 and of course uh, the beautiful T3 Plus. Well, awesome, Dan. I really appreciate your time. Appreciate you. All right. Hey, I'm Randy, Cheap Audio Man. Very exciting. Here today we have a company. How do you say this? Niche. Niche. For the first time, this is their first day uh, announcing their new product. So I'm going to give it over to uh, Christian. Very so first Christian. time. Thank you, Randy. You really appreciate it. I can't believe it. Uh, I actually need to pinch myself because this is the very first time that I'm launching this new company. Very small. Um, I used to work at Bass Drop for three and a half years producing over 30 products. But today, actually, I'm announcing a new company. It's called Niche. And I'm starting off with a collaboration with Shit, and this is actually the new Niche Magni Piety. So for those of you Let familiar see that. Let's with get the a close uh, look at this. sure, for those of you familiar with the Heresy, the Heresy was uh, all about measurements. Is this like a new version of the Heresy? So it's actually very different than the Heresy. Piety, Heresy, get it, uh, opposite. So instead of being all about measurements and being op amp based, this is a discrete amplifier. Uh, it is a new take on the continuity circuit as seen in the Jotunheim 2. So Jason wanted to see, hey, can I somehow squish and fit the continuity circuit into a Magni Piety? And he did this experiment actually about three years ago, and it's been quietly kind of passed around a little bit between some community members and some employees at shit for the last three years. And we've been trying to figure out a way to launch it. And uh, when I was thinking of creating this new company, Niche, 
to find things that the community loves and to make them available and to do some things that uh, wouldn't normally be produced. Um, I worked with shit and we figured out how to do this and kind of as a gift to the community as well. How many are you going to make? Shit's going to be only making a thousand of these. A thousand, okay. And I'll be uh, finishing up the final assembly in California and they should be available in about a couple months or so. Um, you can take a look on the website nichesound.com to read some more details and uh, some community members now can kind of start talking about it and share some of the details with you. Awesome, man. Yeah, exciting. I'm, I'm, uh, it's crazy, I'm excited. Cool. I'm also producing another uh, amplifier that the community loves that uh, stopped being produced called the DSHA3F. And uh, so pretty soon you'll also see a prototype for that uh, floating around and I'm trying to make that and it'll be a very small batch as well. So I'm hugely excited to be here with Jason Stoddard from Shit Audio. Shit Audio. Usually I say shit because I don't want to use profanity on the air, but but that's our name. That's your name, Jason. That is, that do you want to? What are we doing here today, Jason? Um, well, I'm basically hanging around and eating the free pretzels. Okay, pretzels. But, yeah. No, we're doing uh, Texas Audio Roundup. Okay. Which, uh, your idea, right? Not 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 Dan's idea. Not my idea. I don't come up with anything. Okay. Any new products that you're excited about? Yes. Uh, we just introduced um, Bifrost 2 slash 64, which yeah. is our 128-bit DAC. Yes. Because if we can, if, if other people can count things funny, we can count them funny too. Yeah, yeah. But it but it does have eight 16-bit D-Day converters, so it does have 128-bit. Of course, it doesn't have 128-bit resolution. It doesn't have 32-bit resolution. Uh, that stuff doesn't. None of that stuff actually exists. It actually is our, our best performing multi-bit product to date. It's very similar to an Yggdrasil, less is more, okay. but in a desktop size thing. And wow. We, and you get NOS mode. Oh, So nice. if you do non-oversampling, you know, if you want to do that, press and hold button and it switches and over. There you go, yeah. 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 Anything uh, else? And that's, that, oh, and you can get it as an upgrade too. If you have oh. a Bifrost 2, you can buy just buy the upgrade. So that's cool. And then uh, we're previewing Lear Plus. Lear Plus, yeah. Which is our, we come up with all these wacky names. Yeah. Uh, this one's called Fusion Architecture. Okay. Meaning we fused tube and solid state in that you can actually use the same topology, tube or solid state, if you don't have a tube, you know, you just yank the tube out, it switches over to solid state wow. internally. Yeah. Uh, or you can choose between them if there's a tube in there. And it's it's our most advanced desktop headphone amp slash preamp we've ever made. It uh, has relay ladder volume and microprocessor control and remote control. And, Ooh. Yeah, nice. and all that kind of stuff. And that'll be shipping in about four to six weeks. Awesome. And everyone who knows me knows four to six weeks is like, you know, that's what Jason says, so maybe add some time. 46 weeks. Yeah, hopefully not 46 <laughs> weeks. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's that's uh, what we're doing this show. We got Folk Vonger here. Yeah. We got, you know, some of the, you know, a lot of the newer stuff, the tears, you know, yeah. the tears are here. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I appreciate your time, Jason. Yeah, thank you. You bet. <laughs> Hey, very excited to meet Dan Clark for the first time. They were my first big boy headphones that I got. So Dan Clark's here. Um, so how'd you get involved with this shit show? Uh, well, that was a straightforward answer. I got a call from uh, Marv asking if we were interested in doing it, and we did the first shit show. Yeah. So that worked out well for us, so we thought we'd do it again. What, uh, you got new products that you want to show off today? The newest product in our line is the Stealth, which is our flagship headphone now. Uh, this is a $39.99 headphone. It is uh, our top of the line planar magnetic headphone, and it incorporates a new technology called AMTS, or Acoustic Metamaterial Tuning System, that allows us to get rid of all the standing waves that normally set up in high frequencies around your ear within the ear pad. So that's a uh, our hottest new product and uh, the flagship of the line that we're showing today. Cool. Uh, do you have anything like more affordable, maybe entry level? We do. Uh, our headphones range from $500 to $4,000. They're all made in the United States. The entry level headphone would be the Aeon 
uh, RT series. And those are $4.99. They, again, are made in San Diego. And then up from that is the Aeon 2 series, which has the Aeon 2 open, the Aeon 2 closed, and now the Aeon 2 noir. I'm here with Bob, and I was actually on his radio show That's right. this morning. Mornings with Matt and Bob, KLBJ FM, Austin. Which is the number one. We just got the spring ratings. Number one in the book, men 2554, people 2554. Cats and dogs. Cats and it's, dogs. It's a good feeling, man. This late in my Living career together, to get a number yeah, one. Yeah. It's a good. It's a good. It's a good feeling, man. You're gonna take it. Take the win. I'll, I'll take the win. Yeah. Well, Bob was kind enough to have me on the the show this morning, and I got to see what a a real radio station <laughs> looks like. Not a podcast. Real radio. <laughs> I'll trade jobs with you. <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun, man. No, I appreciate you making the trip down here. I saw you were coming to Austin to the Roundup, and I was like, I'm gonna take a shot. I think I pinged you on one of your live. Uh, yeah one of your live YouTube shows and you said I'll get back to you and, and, and we, we hooked it up and uh, dude it was a pleasure having you yeah, on because well, I, I, you're a you know people people have always said to me never meet your heroes <laughs> and I can tell you the people that say that are you full of, to, they're, they're full of skit well you may want to reevaluate who your heroes are so. <laughs> because it, it was uh, meeting you was everything I thought it would be and more I really like I just started following you a long time ago and a uh, big fan and and uh, bought a lot of stuff that you've recommended over the last year and a half. Uh, Is it all, any good? Uh, yeah, you know, I think you're doing good, man. I think you're, I think you're doing good. Awesome. Well, thanks, Bob. It was a pleasure meeting you. My pleasure, man. I hope we can uh, pass cross again uh, real soon. I can almost guarantee you. All right. That.